channel. My name is Tracy and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Central Victoria, Australia. Um, I'm so excited to be showing you this gorgeous project today. It is a little chocolate box using the Bonanza Buddies bundle. So let me just open it up. And it slides on through. And then inside are some fairy friends. So I've got two fairy friends in here. We've got the uh, Kiwi bird for New Zealand and the wombat here for Australia. So super cute little idea. You can pick up these fairy friends in the supermarket. So it's a really great little treat set uh, to pop together. But if you don't live in Australia or New Zealand, um, I'm sure that you can find very similar chocolates that you can place in uh, the box as well. So it could be just about anything. So let's close this back up again and we'll get through with the dis with the supplies. So the supplies you're going to need are the Bonanza bundle. So the Bonanza Buddies bundle. We have the Bermuda Bay striped ribbon. This is a cute set. Um, this is in the annual catalogue. Also using the dies from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And I'm using these, these stitched scallop rectangles. Now I'm also going to use the uh, third and fourth smallest, which I think is actually the third and fourth largest as well, just as a little bit of a side note. The inks, we have Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, but then we have some gorgeous colours. Let me bring them in and show you. Uh, Mango Melody, Terracotta Tile, Bermuda Bay, Daffodil Delight and Smoky Slate. Love these colours, these are nice bright colours. And all these colours can be found in that designer series paper, the Birthday Bonanza designer series paper, which we've featured here as well. So I have my kit here all ready to go. Now you can find all the measurements and supplies for this kit in the description of this video. There's also clickable links um, to purchase these products. If you live in Australia, you can purchase through me. Uh, please pop in the hostess code. I'll send you out a handmade card or project that is featured for this month. I'll also email you a bundle tutorial. Now there is usually 50 uh, tutorials. They're printable PDF tutorials. Um, it's full of value. It is also full of great inspiration and ideas. So it's a really great way just for that little bit of extra for shopping with me. And you can also earn yourself some Inky rewards. So for every $50 um, that you order through me before shipping, you'll get an ink spot. So once you get to a certain amount, you'll get some free goodies. So it's a, it's a, it's a really great saving for everyone. So we have our sliding part of the box is Mango Melody. The cover is Bermuda Bay. We have a piece of Mango Melody for the top of the box here. We have that designer series paper. It's Birthday Bonanza designer series paper. Uh, Whisper White for our stamping. And then we have a piece of Daffodil Delight and Mango Melody for our little tag here as well. So let's get started with the stamping and then we can do some of the die cutting. We're using the Whisper White piece here uh, for all these little koala and the hat and the presents as well. So we're going to stamp that koala in our Smoky Slate ink. So there is a little bit of die cutting uh, for our tag here, but it's pretty easy as well. Now, because it is photopolymer, you can use our matting underneath it to get a clearer image. I think it works quite well on a good surface anyway. I'm going to bring in that memento to do his little face. And in that set, look at his little face. So cute. Gorgeous. Now his little hat is in Mango Melody. And this could be good as a banner as well. I'm going to do one of those. It didn't, didn't work out very well, did it? Let me try again. Much better. The little pom pom is in Bermuda Bay. And while we have the Bermuda Bay out, we're also going to be doing a present as well. So let me bring in that rectangle present. 
I think I need to re-ink this ink pad. We have terracotta tile and we're going to do that square present. And we have the last one is Daffodil Delight and we're going to use that square present as well. So let me bring in a cleaner and clean that one off. I'm going to bring the Memento Tuxedo Black back in and we're going to do the little ribbons around those presents. Very cute. So I'm gonna bring the big shot in and we're gonna do our die cutting. So we have our two pieces that are going to be the smaller one with the Mango Melody and the larger one with the Daffodil Delight. I'm going to run our die cuts for the koala, the hat, the pom pom, and the presents. Now I know I said I was going to die cut the presents, but we're actually just going to fussy cut those. There is no die uh, for the presents. So let's just quickly cut them out. Apologise for the barking in the background. My German Shepherd puppy is not happy about being locked up inside. She's not playing nice outside at the moment. So she's missing out on all the fun outside. We have all our elements all right to go. We're going to make that cute little box now. So all our elements are ready to go. Let's make this box. So we're gonna start off with the box um, sliding piece. This is the Mango Melody piece. It actually measures three and seven eighths by nine and a half inches. So we're gonna score at seven and sixteenths inch and one inch. So for seven and sixteenths, it's actually one notch before the half inch. So we've got the half inch here, we've got one little notch there. We're going to score there and then one inch. We're gonna do that on all four sides. So that's our sliding part of our box. 
Moving to our Bermuda Bay cardstock, this is our wraparound for our slider. The cardstock measures seven and three quarters by five and seven eighths, and we're going to do some scoring. So five eighths of an inch is going to be our first one, and that's the um, two little notches after the half inch. So we've got half inch, which is four eighths, then we're gonna to go to the fifth eighth. Fifth eighth. I'm not um, American, so I'm probably not understanding or explaining that the best, but I do find using the measurements in American a lot easier than centimeters, so, which is crazy. Okay, so let's do that one. Then two and five eighths. Three and a quarter. And five and a quarter. Okay. So we're going to fold and burnish on all those score lines. So let's bring the bone folder in. going to do our slider part of the box as well. Okay, so we do need to do a little bit of cutting to get our box together. I'm working with the edges here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip up this middle score line. This is our tab. And I'm only going to go to that first score line there. And I'm going to notch in. So this little piece here is going to be the tab that goes inside the box. Gives it that little bit of extra um, support. Then I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to cut up to that second score line there. And I'm doing that with both. Now these two ones on the end, we're going to get rid of that. And I'm also going to get, get rid of that end one. So we've gotten rid of these three little notches here. I'm going to notch in because this is going to be the tab, puts it together. So we've gotten rid of that corner piece. So let's turn it around this other way. Gonna do the same here, cutting up, taking those two pieces off. I'm gonna take that bottom piece off. And let's notch in for that tab. Now we're also gonna notch in on both ends here as well means that this one's going to fold down over the top and be the side of the box but because we've notched in it's going to be uh, sitting flush. Okay, so let's move to this end as well. Clean this away and I'll show you what that box looks like then. So our tabs on the end that are going to stick all this box together. So let's turn it over the other way. Now these little tabs are where we're going to stick our glue. Now you can either use tear and tape. I'm using uh, Tombow Mono Glue and I'm just going to work with two tabs at a time. So we're going to bring this tab up to behind uh, this piece here. Now Tombow Mono Glue works really well. It's a very hard work, working glue, but you do have to hang on to it for just a few minutes. Now, if you're going to use tear and tape, 
once you get it down onto the spot that's where it's going to stay so there's no wiggle room with the tear and tape at all the trouble with with the green glue you're going to get sticky let's move to this side well it might just me that gets sticky I seem to always get the multi-purpose liquid glue everywhere. So that has that down. Let's move to this side. Same as we've done for the other side, we're just gonna pop a little bit of glue down. Closing those tabs up, holding it for just a minute. And we're gonna work on the other side as well. Probably should have used the tear and tape because it would have been a bit quicker for the video. So then we're going to just pop in a little bit of glue on those tabs. And we're going to fold it over and I'm using my bone folder to get that stuck down really well. So just running that bone folder over. And the bone folder works really well. Gets that stuck down really well. It looks like as though there's no end piece there at all. Well, let's go with the other side. And then we have our base of our box. Let's move to the slider part. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stick it inside, making sure that that fits really well, which it does. So I'm so sorry, my video cut out and I didn't realize. What we've done is we glued the top of the uh, box together. So I left this inside. I ran some tear and tape down along that um, tab, placed it together so the ends met the ends here. I have attached or glued down the Mango Melody card and the designer series paper on top. For the tag here, I have glued the two labels together. I've also glued the party hat and the pom pom to the koala. He has been popped up with some dimensionals. And I've also popped up the Bermuda Bay um, gift here as well. But the other two are just straight glued down onto the card. So we have this little label all ready to go. I have popped in the two fairy friends. So we have the Kiwi again. And this time we've got the Platypus for Australia. And we're ready to start popping this one down. So I'm so sorry that um, it didn't keep recording. But I don't want to go back through and have to restart and do all these ones again. So um, I'll just talk you through, it, it's quite simple. The, the hardest bit was probably the box. So we're going to bring in that Bermuda Bay ribbon. And I actually just showed you that while it was still attached to the uh, roll, I just got it into place. I created that little bow. 
And that's where I actually cut it off the roll so I knew exactly how much I needed. So we have that there. This little label we're going to pop up so we still have that ribbon free. So our dimensional is going to go on the top and bottom of our label. So let's do that now. I feel really bad that half this video is missing. So I really apologize. I'm so sorry. I usually check as I'm doing it and I just didn't today. So we're going to pop that down and that keeps that ribbon nice and free. And then we have that gorgeous little Bonanza Buddies box. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you left me a comment. Um, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do. I'm actually aiming for a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and if you could help me out, I would really, really appreciate that. I'll be back with another video very soon and I hope you can join me for that. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.